Now we're ready to talk about the main results in the Asimoglu, Johnson, and Robinson paper on the effect of property rights on economic development. So here, in their table four, titled IV, Instrumental Variables Regressions, they've got three panels, panel A, B, and C. And then eight, or nine columns rather, one through nine. Down here in panel C, it's titled Ordinary Least Squares. They say in the notes, the dependent variable in columns one through eight is log GDP per capita in 1995. So that's our outcome variable, GDP per capita. Over here, these are the right-hand side variables, or our explanatory variables. So here in the first column, labeled base sample, we've got a coefficient of 0.52 on average protection against expropriation risk, property rights. So this is just telling us the regression that we looked at from before, that in the data there's a positive correlation between having strong property rights and having high GDP. It's not telling us a causal effect. So they've included it here for comparisons to the actual causal effects that they show in panel A. In panel B, they show the first stage for average protection against expropriation risk. Now that's our measure of property rights. That's our treatment variable. So these are the first stage regressions that we talked about in earlier modules. So here in the first column, they're showing the correlation between the instrument log European settler mortality and the treatment variable average protection against expropriation risk. And we see that there's a negative coefficient, minus 0.61. And this, in parentheses, that's the standard error. So we could use that to construct a confidence interval for this point estimate of the coefficient. And we'd find that this is a statistically significant estimate. It is not zero. So we see that the relevance assumption holds in the data. There is a correlation between the instrument and the treatment. OK, so relevance holds. Now we're ready to see the main result. That's right here, this first column in the first panel, 0.94. So panel A is labeled two-stage least squares. Remember, that's a keyword for instrumental variables analysis. So here we're looking at the coefficient on average protection against expropriation risk, and that's 0.94. Now this is our treatment variable, and our outcome variable here is log GDP per capita. That's what it said in the note. So this is telling us the effect, the true causal effect of our treatment on our outcome. If we did a confidence interval for this number using this standard error in parentheses, we'd see that this point estimate is statistically significantly not zero. It's positive. So we see that there is a true causal effect of property rights on economic development. That's the main result in this paper, this number right here. It's computed using instrumental variables analysis. Now, all the rest of these columns are just doing different robustness checks to make sure that this number isn't explained away by other possible uh, theories, like maybe geography matters. We talked about that in the regression module. So they're going to include variables like latitude and what co continent you're on in other specifications, like over here, and they're going to see that the coefficient on the treatment variable is still positive and statistically significant among all of their specifications. So that's the main results in this paper. They find that property rights actually do have a causal effect on economic development by using instrumental variables analysis where their instrument is log European settler mortality.